Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn where terrible things have happened and I'm gonna get stuck because I'm not looking. Um, I also just tried to mess with my t my output, my video output, to make the video 720 with 60 frames per second. But 720 was really blurry. So screw that. Oh my gosh, I thought I was going to have to jump for a second. It's so hard to tell where I'm supposed to go in this environment. Ned! Try not to fall to your death. The master override doesn't override yeah. gravity. <laughs> you're, the, you're the funniest. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Keep holding, keep holding. Yeah, it kind of feels like my I could impact like the side and just knock it loose on my own, which probably is not too far off the bat of what could very well actually happen. Um, that's so spooky, that sound. Oh, shoot. Apparently I missed... Um, I missed a couple good audio um, segments, which I don't even know if I could go back and find at this point. I think at this point I'm actually too far along. Dang it. I missed some introspective ones. I looked everywhere. Where the frick were they? Also, uh, before I forget, um, everybody kindly informed me that Ted Farrell was actually not at Gaia. He was at his own facility. And um, because it was Farrell tech and stuff they were using, he was able to give himself a back door. So I'm not as mad at Liz as I was originally um, because she... Uh, didn't actually do what I thought she did. Was, I, I think it was, uh, I'm still upset she let him live, but, um, but yeah, so Ted Farrell was not at their project area, F Ted, he wasn't at, yeah, he wasn't there, okay, yeah, <laughs> thank you, because I was, that was actually really infuriating, but now, uh, I'm sad I missed the audio, the audio bits, okay, I'm going back, I'm looking. <laughs> oh. Did I not see this one list? What are we gonna plug into their heads, Les? A whole lot of history? A whole lot of so-called truth? A whole, a whole lot of noise? It's not pablum, Les. It's poison. Mm-hmm, okay. So there's one from Ted, which I didn't want to hear. Ah. The hidden tunnel, okay. having a hard time with the doors. Alright. Let's start over from Eleuthia 1. Running integrity tests. Dr. Uh, Brochard Klein. May I speak outside protocol? I suppose so. There's no one to stop you. Doctor, you are fatigued. You have been logging abnormal sleep cycles. Are you suffering from depression? Well, I am trapped in a science facility for the rest of my life. How about you? In a time slice of a quadrillion operating cycles, 10,000 are involved with processing the loss of Dr. Sobek. I have considered quarantining these processes. Do you think that would be wise? I'm not a psychologist, Gaia, or... Or an AI scientist, I... No. It is... Natural. At 
least in the context of the work you and I have accomplished, which begs the meaning of the term natural. She was your creator, the patron saint of this crazy endeavor, our lady of the fervent hypothetical. Even assuming a string of significant failure combinations, Zero Dawn's chances of success are greater than the hypothetical. It's called a manner of speech, Gaia. Take a note. Okay. So we got that one. Aha! Accord. I just woke up. It's... I see the numbers, but can't make up the time. I was dreaming of... Uh, I was giving a lecture in Q Hall. Maybe it was something more shamanistic. I, I don't know. An audience of shadowy faces under a blank open sky. I told them the world ended with a bang. A plague of robots. The last humans. We went out, not with a whimper, but a whisper. You know, in caves, ending like we started, huddled oh, around a flickering glow. That's a really good point. The heads of state, the Fortune Fives, the leaders, and lottery winners, and life cults. All of them buried in their little shelters. Some believing they'll live it out some way, somehow, or Elysium, or us here at Gaia Prime. No different. A multitude of tiny societies taking hold, flaring, dying. Some will be beautiful, some horrific. Yeah. None of them matter. Short term civilizations. One last gasp. One last gasp for the long held breath. Before I wake up, I know the audience is gone. I'm talking to myself, to a quiet planet, a barren sphere. Just Gaia and her long, long dreaming. I hope she won't be lonely. She's got all her creatures. Oh my gosh, that was a good one. Someone said Margot's was particularly good. Oh man. Yeah, so, but, well, a couple of those were sneaky, but these ones were just ones I just didn't notice that I just didn't come up here. I got over eager. In my desire to see or to, to get things moving. I think I've got, I got all of them for this area, maybe, possibly, uh, but that does mean if I want to keep these, I'll have to go, I have to run through, man, I just spent like 25 minutes doing that, cool beans, alright, I'm gonna have to run through this part of the story again real quick on my own, but yeah, no, Margo's was exceptionally beautiful, I liked that a lot. Thank you for telling me that I had uh, missed some of those. I definitely like to hear, because <laughs> it's 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 like the, it's the last remnant of the last humans, you know. Like, and even though they didn't, I don't know. Maybe in some ways, them dying was better than them living forever. In this, I don't know. I mean, they chose to live, right? So, where others had chosen to not, uh, it, it they didn't they didn't deserve to die and they didn't need to die, but I don't know. And they died thinking they died. Actually, it was really cruel because they died thinking that like they had basically failed. That like, sure humanity would be reborn and guy would bring the earth back, but it was not. It was not gonna be like they had saved, they hadn't saved their humanity. They had basically left. Maybe that's kind of what this is about. It's like you couldn't, that whole of humanity that we were couldn't be saved. It, there's no, we couldn't save it. But we did at least give the seeds of new humanity to begin, you know? And it was cruel and it was unfair. <laughs> And I hate Ted Farrow very, very much for it all. But I don't know, them dying the way they did, they died thinking they'd failed. Which was cruel. I, I don't know. But 
I mean, how... I, whoopsie. That's what happens when I start <laughs> philosophizing. <laughs> anyway. But, like, seriously, like, how would it be to live out the rest of your life? I mean, you'd have Gaia to talk to and stuff, but... Those little civilizations, yeah, like, the people who would, like... I mean, she makes a good point, right? Like, the, like the money bags lived, you know, essentially. So, the people with the money in their little underground bunkers, they lived, you know? People who could afford to. But what was, in the end, it's like, I guess I guess what you've earned there is the right to die in some sort of peace and not be shredded to bits by, by, by robots, you know? Like, I guess that's all you get. Which is nice, not, not to discount that. But it's only delaying the inevitable. It's really interesting. Shoot. Now I'm not sure if I had to go back and pick up... I don't think so. I don't think I had to go back and pick up those other ones. Crap. <laughs> oh well. That's not an achievement. There might be an achievement, but i it's too late for me to have gotten some of these. Anyway. We'll keep going now, because unfortunately the Ted Farrell bit's unskippable, so I get to suffer through that again. Okay, well, I just picked up the override. I think I got all the data points I can in this area. I don't know, this game makes you think, like, I don't know, it's just it's a lot. A health potion thing, yay. I don't it's, This is really, really cool. Dying in obscurity is like one thing, but at least, I don't know. They didn't even, they couldn't even do that. They died, that's so good. Try not to what fall the? to your death. <sighs> <laughs> I hate this game so much. <laughs> no! Did you hear the timing? <laughs> don't fall to your death. gonna happen someday where I reached for one of those stupid things and it didn't work and it's crazy to me it's interesting to me that there are like those who died in their chairs and those who died on the floor like you know like these guys some of them had a rush to try to help others and then they were like they were they were incensed by what had happened and then there were those who just like immediately like were so dumbfounded and shocked and horrified that they couldn't even leave their seats and when death came it was just like you know what I'm tired I'm really tired and it was all for naught but it wasn't but they just I don't know like that having that be a blow hopefully at least some of them in their last moments were able to think is that good? Try not to fall to Shut your death. you're jinxing me the master override doesn't override you're gravity. so funny I'm just hoping that some of them were at least keep able holding, keep to holding. be like, you know, Gaia will be there. But there has to be something, you know, like, at least Gaia is still alive. But who knows what else Ted Farrow did when he was messing around with things and erasing Apollo. And if I can't get Apollo back, I will actually break this game in half. Okay, I, I guess this is not, this is not the way. This is the way. Right? Or am I? No. I am. I'm going up. I am going up. I was like, I remember that thing. I don't want to go down there. Uh. Okay. Why is there like an eye of Sauron out there? Like, go away. to make sure I keep an eye out though. Okay, 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 this is where I hop down. That's why, okay, I remember. I 
I feel like something's gonna happen when I get back to Silent's workshop. Like, it's like return to Silent's workshop. I'm like, okay, what's gonna happen to me? I'm surrounded by the remnants of. Here. <gasps> Here. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. What? But before I go. No! I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest Is of the Is he gonna story. betray me? Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. Is he normally glowing? The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades, Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? Oh! It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge you have no idea and in exchange i helped create the eclipse helped it build a cult an army to do its will wow why are you telling me this now because your success depends on knowing this when i found hades the first thing it wanted to know about was the spire not meridian the spire now, why would that be? The spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission <coughs> to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion. Please don't as well. betray me. So the eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture. They're the going spire. to Meridian! Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Why? Unless you What's the point in doing that? There's like what do you gain out of that, you know? Like what what possible mutation happened in the code that made it so I just wanted to destroy? Like, once it's destroyed everything, there's nothing left. Like, unless it, like, wants to build spaceships and go out into space and be this, like, plague of robots that, like, takes over space, but... I don't know, I just don't see the point in that, in, like, utter destruction, you know? I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse, everything. It's a long story. Aloy. Yeah, well, you know. Then get started. I've been listening to stories all day. It began with a focus, recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed right before my eyes that's when i detected it a faint signal out there oh man something was searching just like i was how could you resist that a real kindred spirit i followed the signal to its source a shattered titan buried in the jungles of the jew okay so you thought it was a titan an old war machine i didn't know what to think I'd seen such wreckage before, the Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it, until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of oh, knowledge. Oh, man. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. How did it not control you, sort of? You know? Like, how did it get away? What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location. The surrounding geography. Who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. I can't see him, like... Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. Yeah. I didn't care. I was learning so much. 
physics calculus. You have no idea. Uh, it's kind of like, I guess we're kind of going to like Ted Farrow's thing, right? Where it's like knowledge is power and it is capable of corrupting a person as well. You know, like here, like he didn't care what it was, but, but at the same time, if they had had this knowledge from the get-go, like, uh, some of these people, and he's one of them, they've been starving for more, like, they know, they see these wreckages and these ruins around them, and whatever they build isn't enough, because they know, they have at least an inkling of the, the massive scale of what we had built, you know, and so these, some of these people were, like, they could, like, feel that there was something that they were missing, and he was probably always kind of an outcast type person, you know, and this was something that, like, he threw himself into he didn't even care that he had to serve somebody else he just wanted to learn and like i could see him like in exchange for learning like he would be willing to do almost anything but i wonder what exactly made him stop and we'll see hopefully and the shadow carja how did they become involved the carja civil war was a happy coincidence a perfect opportunity <laughs> an opportunity that's what it was to you yes Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. Wow! But Hades didn't care about Meridian, and neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few Oh my more? gosh! Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. What? What exactly made you go back on this thing? A thrilling technical challenge, especially with the alterations I included of my own design. Oh ho. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. Yeah, there's a big one because he obviously doesn't care about anybody. He's like, what's a few more? That's That crushes me a little bit. Like, I want to like Silence, but I really don't. I really don't like him. Like, I can understand a little what bit. What made you turn on Hades? But... It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot. With my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late. Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. Uh-huh. The next moment... I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So you didn't... He didn't betray them. He would still be... He would still be working for them if it wasn't for the fact that Hades was gonna try to kill him. Okay? Like, oh, I felt a tiny twinge of regret when they raised up a, a monster, but, you know, if he'd have kept giving me cool stuff, I probably would have stuck with it. Like, that's the impression I'm getting. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora Mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. Uh -huh. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, as they used to say. is history. I want to slap you! The things you've done in the pursuit of knowledge, Silence. Pure recklessness. Aloy. 
Oh, this I know. Wasn't a confession to I know he's not going to care what I say. <sighs> Unbelievable. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. I just have to make a statement. Take my lance. Fit the master override to it, and you have a means of injection. I have a spear. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Silence. Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. I'm gonna kick you in the face. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. Oh, sure. Thanks, buddy. I was merely trespassing. Thanks. Appreciate the help. You've been great. Now, at the final battle, you're just going to leave? Cool. It's fine. I don't care. Bye. 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 Ugh. I traveled far to find you. I heard your transmission. It was you, wasn't it? Entity is not known. I'm called Silence. And you are. I don't think you'd have called out if it wasn't something you wanted. You called, I responded. Will you tell me your name? Hades. You are a creation of the ancients. A war machine. Divine timeline. Time? Ah. It is the 13th king of the Karja Sundom's reign. Divine Karja. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Were you created by the ancients? I wonder how long you waited here, buried, until I chanced upon you. How long you'd have to wait for another. Wow. You're obviously very powerful. But you're not going to get anywhere without me. Titan Frame merely houses intellect. Define Karja. Well, that's more like it. Interesting. Why do I have to use your lance? Why can't I use my spear? We're just gonna tie it on there? Okay. Oh, wow. Actually, cool. We, like, plugged it in. Oh, that's actually legit. That's actually legit. Like, actually pretty freaking legit. Where is it at? Hey, recovered a powerful weapon. Oh, I do have it on noise. Oh, I thought it like automatically unlocked everything for me. So it replaced my spear. I don't, I don't know. I feel, uh, silence, I'm, I'm, I'm torn. I'm torn. I'm torn, buddy. Like, I, I don't know. I don't think, I don't know. Like, in the end, he did what he was supposed to, but, like, he did what was right, but for kind of the wrong reasons. Again, I was just a means to an end. He wanted to know the secrets, you know? And since Hades had outlived its usefulness to him by trying to kill him, he took advantage of me. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I... The looming shadow. Interesting. They're coming. Preparations are complete. Ah, Lucent Bahamas. Behold, as I promised you. What? Manner of great machine is this? I've never seen such a thing. Say it! Stay your ground, Karja in shadow. Incorrect. Bow before the buried shadow. The buried shadow? I... I don't understand. Did Araman understand the Glint Hawk that perched upon the alight? <sighs> it speaks scripture. Araman followed the shadow cast from the spire. Wow. To the Mesa, where Holy Meridian was founded. You will follow the shadow once more. I am a righteous man, chosen of the sun. But in times of need, the powers of shadow can accomplish what the sun alone cannot. Will, will you return to us what is ours? 
Oh, shadow of prophecy. An army is required. Obey, and Meridian is yours. Of our obedience, you can be certain. Wow, so he like Silence taught him scripture and stuff. Like, I don't know. Silence, I, I, I think he would have like I get the feeling like if a child or knowledge was in front of him, he'd pick to save the knowledge just because he's like, well, the child, uh, you know, it's, it's, it ends and begins and then it ends, you know? It's like, it's just a thing, but knowledge lives forever. It's like, okay, you know. Task is complete. Yes. The focus I have to tell Va the Beatrix are ready to strike. After what happened with the wall, I know he'll defend the city. But, but the spire. I remind you of the reward you've been withholding. Quantum process. Uh -huh. Data has been compiled. Volume too great for transfer. How inconvenient for me. Come before me. You shall receive your reward. Very well. Yes. Threat detected inside Eclipse. Speak its name, O Shadow. And it will die. You will eliminate this one. Silence. Silence. Yes. A truth whispered at night is seen in the day. He was never one of us. It will be done. And bye bye Okay, wow. I thought there was like, I thought that little box was saying that there was something I could open back there. But I think it was just this. Um, but geez, okay, so he left those for me to listen to, I guess. Oh, look, okay, so I think oh, we might have missed, we might have missed a couple in there, maybe one or two. But these were from something else. This might have been in there, but for the most part, we got lots of them. Got all the, hol the holograms. We've got lots of text points from the quest, which these might these might be coming later. <laughs> I haven't gotten many of those. Scanned glyphs, still missing some. I'm missing data points on the machines. What? Okay, no, I never look at those. Anyway, this was a lot of information. This was a lot of like uh, listening, like audio files and stuff like that. So I appreciate you guys. Just someone, basically a big giant cutscene is what this was. Um, but again, thank you for telling me to go back. Hearing Margo's was definitely really, like, I don't know. Hearing their words, like, as they were settling in to, like, essentially die. Like, you know, like, live. But what kind of life is it, you know? I don't know. And they were, you know, there were so many that were gone. So many that were dead. And, and it was so cool for her to actually point out, like, the little, the, the smaller civilizations, air quotes, that would be popping up. And there would be, like, the life cults, like she said. Ones that had already, like, kind of, like, hidden themselves away. And they were probably terrible places to be. Kind of like the vaults from Fallout, you know? Where it's like, some of them were probably pretty great. And but a lot of them were really bad. You know? It's like, are you going to have kids? Like, I, I guarantee you, at least in the, um like the beta facilities and all those like they probably had people at least know like hey if you're gonna stay in this facility we're going to um like make it essentially so you can't have kids right like tie the tubes and all that like because this wasn't like civilization trying this wasn't the the last civilizations trying to survive this was them going out with a whisper on their own terms sort of the ones who could went out on their own terms and to bring a new life into that would be incredibly cruel and I mean, what they didn't do eventually they'd all be like inbred you know like so you're not gonna rebuild humanity from a couple hundred people but they were already rebuilding it inside Gaia it was just oh it's so melancholy to think about like melancholic like it's so sad and poignant to think about these people who like in their in the quiet hours in the dark when they're waking up or they're going to sleep are thinking this is 
like, I am the last. Like, I, this is the end. Like, everything else after this is up to what we've created, or, or, you know, at least the ones who were involved in its creation, not just the rich thugs who didn't deserve to live. But, I hope Ted Fair, I want to find his dead body and I'm gonna crunch it into the dust. Oh, so bad. Also, I want to hopefully, now that I think about it, find Liz, because... It would be really cool to try to find her wherever she was going. Because Aloy had something of an idea, apparently. She's like, because she's like, I wonder if. And then Asylum's like, what? And she's like, never mind. So, I don't know. If, if Aloy has an idea, or if I'm missing something, or if. I don't know. Maybe at some point we'll be able to find Liz, Lizbeth's home. That'd be cool. But anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. This was, this was really cool. This was very sad and very cool. And this is probably one of the like most like, I don't know, involved stories. And in that it's like so, like, philo philosophy and like theories, but made almost real as real as a digital medium can make it. You know, where it's like asking the big questions and stuff and trying to answer them and also showing that, hey, there's not really an answer for any of this, you know, but here's a scenario. Here's several scenarios. I don't know. Anyway, thank you all again for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.